Hi there. Look, just a quick uh, idea about how to play this tenderly song. It doesn't really change much from this sort of three chord van, right? So what I've done is gone into that drop D tuning. He's in a, like a C sharp minor tuning or something on that lap steel thing he's playing. But if you've got like that little D shape, you know, we we're using for that Fleetwood Mac song where we had the that type of vibe. But you just keep those two fingers with that big open chord, and then you just change to that fifth string, third fret. And then you can go to the G on that fifth fret, sixth string, with the open, maybe with that first finger on the second string, third fret, right? And you can just play with the timing of that. I mean, like, So it's basically just that. Just taking that first finger off and then having that second finger come on to the fifth string, third fret. So you get a kind of C, a G over C. That's a C still on the third fret, fifth string. And that little open chord is like a G power chord. So it's like a G over C. And then the first one's just D because you got that first finger on the third string, second fret and that second string in the third fret. Just a quick way, because it's a, it's a su pretty sudden change, and it's not like it goes from C to a full C chord necessarily. It's like a, a bit more of an open sound. And then to a G, and then back to the D, right? And there's a little lick that he plays there. It's kind of like a slide, a slide riff, but you can even play that in a lower register with the chords. Even if you just abbreviated it to that, just grabbing that fourth string, third fret, punching that up into the open fourth string before you go to that chord, right? Just something else to add to it. So it could be like. So. But that's that's just an extra little thing that can hang off it, but really it's just those three three chords. Okay? Cool. Oh, and also, <laughs> this is in D, right? Which so it's going to be hard to hear it with the the track, uh, because he's kind of in C sharp, but he's a little bit in between C sharp and D. There's a bit of a one of those tracks that's not really entirely in concert pitch. So this is just the best way to do it for us. Okay, cheers.